welcome to another video. Um, so I had asked you guys this last weekend if you wanted to have a little snoop through on my craft room. So I thought that would be a really fun live to kind of throw in here since I missed my live on Friday. So we're going to work on that today and I'm going to give you a peek through everything. There are going to be a few things just for time issues. I'm not going to actually like pull boxes down and show you in all the boxes, but I will tell you kind of what I have stored where so that you have a little bit of an idea and it might give you some inspiration in your own spaces. So I have to tell you from the very beginning, there are a few like disclosures with this whole thing. I have been crafting pretty much as a job for about six years um, that I've been doing it consistently. So I have a lot of stuff. And I'm lucky enough to have my own room. I have paid for everything in this room. Um, when we bought this house, I had had measurements and photos and everything so that I could design what I wanted in here for storage. So this is all stuff that I have put together over the course of years. And I've tried to do it at the best kind of budget range that I could with it. So um, I did want to... To say that up front. So I am also going to be handheld in this video. There's no real way for me to kind of go through the room on a tripod. So I will be holding the camera. It might be a little wobbly due to that. So if it's something that might be making you a little bit of sick with it, um, you can probably wait to get to the recorded version where you could fast forward through parts that are really wobbly or um, see if there's like some kind of a stabilization or something that you can run the video through. So anyway, that all being said, hello to everybody watching. I am going to flip you over to my little one moment screen while I take you off of the camera mount, just because that's gonna be a lot of shaking and then we will get started. So just a moment. Okay guys, so I am starting at the door to my craft room. Let's see if I can get to a point where you can see me. Um, so this is the door just right behind me as you come in and let me get the camera flipped. Behind the door I have this ironing board. Um, I do a lot of different types of crafting. So you're going to see a lot of different types of things in this room. This is was my grandmother's ironing board. Um, that she got when she got married. So I do have a waste paper basket that's right by the door. So coming in and going out, you can easily just trash whatever you're carting with you. So my desk is the first thing as you come in. And it is up on these little cubbies. These are closet made cubbies. So they're the ones that are available at like Walmart or Target. So I have just a few little decorations in there, different things since this is the one that faces out the door. Over here in this little hollow space, I have things that I use for my photos. I do flat lay photography for my blog, so I use these 12 by 24 inch tiles as my backdrop that I start with. And then in the bins down here, this is all nail stuff in that bin, and this is the treat box, which realistically is a lot more just um, stuff that I use when I do photography for the treat things that I build. If I'm making something specific to a treat, then I often buy fresh for it. I do have these trays sitting on the end of the desk right as you come in. This has become a little bit of a catch-all coming in and out of the room, but it's actually kind of nice because it does limit it to just that amount of space on my desk with it. So I do keep, the barf bucket is decorative. It has not been used. <laughs> I do keep tissues, um, hand sanitizer. This little bag is actually a first aid kit, which is actually kind of a good thing to have in a craft room. And then there's just various things 
tucked into the other trays. So as we come along, this is my crafting desk. So I'm trying to back up so you can actually see. I do have that storage cubby here that I was talking about. There's another one on the end over here. And then there's a third one that's back in the back against the wall. And then I have two little bookcases tucked in underneath just to add some additional storage down there. Now, normally the stool that I have that I sit at when I'm sitting at my desk is tucked under there. I've got it out in the middle of the room right now with my laptop on it. So on my desk right now, I have these big lights. These are the lights I use when I'm doing videos. They're also the lights I use when I take pictures for my blog. And I did get these off of Amazon. Um, I'm gonna put this video on my blog tomorrow. So I will have links to this stuff if you wanna look for it. This is what I use as my video mount for my camera. So this is an extendable pole that I can pull down as needed. And then I've attached this little mount right here to it that expands and contracts that'll hold my cell phone. And I can turn it up to flip it down to show my desktop. Or I can lay it like this so you, I can film out um, and film myself standing there in front of it. And I also have an adapter that allows me to hook up my video camera in this onto this pole as well. So I have just trash can. This is what I'm currently using to clean my stamps. I'm trying it out. It's a chamois cloth. Um, I keep it in the jar so that it stays wet. I have card bases and card front size pieces of cardstock um, on my desk at all times. I tend to use white card bases on most of my cards. So I just keep them up on my desk. So far, I have not had any issue with that. I do use a spray box when I'm using spray inks and things so it doesn't wind up back there. I have this spinner that I got from Recollections. Um, it's the Michaels store one. And I just keep all my tools in there. It's really handy to have there. Me sneak behind this light. I do have an ot light back here. These lights don't live on my desk all the time, but um, they're up there right now. And then I have a fan and then these little crates um, with some sequins in there. I haven't really totally filled that in yet. So let me go down here on the floor. Okay, so there is a gap above these little shelves. And so right now I just have some products that I've been working with. Um, there's an extra tile that's a little smaller than the ones that are on the other side there. I have all of my embossing powders down here. And then this is a box. Um, this basket here has a lot of stuff that has been gifted to me. I'm trying to figure out putting a shelf in so that I can actually display some of that. The next shelf down has stuff that is kind of extra with it. Um, some empty baskets there and then some beading stuff. And then in the very back corner there is some headband stuff. So if I need to make a baby gift or something really quick, I have that there. These are punch boards. And then this is just a bin of retired items. Up here, I have my colored pencils along with my pan pastels. And then in the next cubby over, I have my splashes, my silks, my liquid colors, and then my fusion blender and bloom palettes in there. Um, that little bar that the splashes are hanging on is just a spring load bar that I got. It's an 11 inch one, fits in there perfectly. And then the little acrylic containers I actually picked up at Dollar Tree. So this bin right here is all of my Fun Stampers Journey stamps. And then I have my Fun Stampers Journey twine and ribbon. 
here. This is additional stamps that I have that are from other companies. Then I have my label maker here, and then just some organizational supplies in this box here. My clear blocks live in this case. Then I have a scoreboard here. This shelf over here is just a little bit kind of random with it, but I have some color charts that I had made. I have some finished projects that are sitting back here. Um, some old planners that were kind of the thing that taught me that I am not a planner person. Extra of the chamois cloth, clipboard, some empty bins. Um, this is my spray box that's right here. And then this suitcase here contains all of my old assembled projects. I have this wine rack. I actually used it for storage for a very long time. I, I'm not currently using it, but I'm kind of like holding off on getting rid of it because I'm just not sure if I'm going to need it again. And then I do have these little bottles of sparkling apple juice and some champagne flutes down in here. So if I have to make a little congratulations gift, I have the ability to do that right away. Um, and then I have trimmers up here. So it takes these, because these take up a lot of desk space. So it's nice to have a place to tuck them. I also have a nail here in the side of my desk and I have a ruler and my heat gun that I keep on that nail. So I just have them where I can get to them. So, and I forgot to mention this desktop is actually a, a hollow cord do door that I picked up at Lowe's and I just stained it. Um, I did put a couple coats of poly on it when I stained it, but you can see that there's some scratches and some scuff marks and things. Um, I stained this four years ago. So honestly, for it to have held up as long as it did without any kind of touch-ups, I'm pretty impressed with that. <laughs> so the cubbies on this side are more um, kind of all over the place. This one back in here is video equipment. So there's things like my microphone when I do voiceovers on videos, um, some different adapters to hold different types of cameras. There is a mic that I use if I'm recording while I'm doing a video, a wide angle lens and stuff. This is sketchbooks, mixed media stuff, art journals, um, and then some pens for some brush lettering in there. I have beneath that magazines and books, different things that I've collected. That bin back there is just kind of some random storage with it. And then I have two bins at the bottom. This one holds software and some cords. And then this one here just holds vinyl. So when I'm using my silhouette, I have that. I do keep a garbage can here as well because this is to the side of my desk. So I'm going to stand up. So this shelf here in the corner, um, the boxes that are up here on the top, I used to have a whole lot of different types of stamps. So I had them sorted by category and each box was a category of types of stamps that I had. Um, I've gotten rid of almost all of the stamps that I had previously. So they're empty right now, but I just haven't been able to bring myself to get rid of them because I keep thinking I might need that in the future for something. <laughs> I'm kind of a little bit of a hoarder when it comes to that stuff. Like I always think that there's gonna be a use for something later on. <laughs> so I have paper flowers here. This is some cheesecloth and tulle that I just keep out. This is got like treat boxes, um, mouse pads to use as stamping pads, and then again some more tiles and some wood there that I use for photo backdrops. There's lots of photo backdrops floating around here guys. So I have distress markers on this shelf. Behind the distress markers, sorry I'm trying not to shake, my 6x6 six six pads back there. That box holds miscellaneous little odds and ends and containers for different things. Um, if I'm doing like giveaway of things or samples of things. Macopics and some Prismacolors. 
down there. The next shelf is kind of gift giving stuff, but it's like general purpose gift giving. So there is some birthday stuff in there and some blank gift bags. Um, this little container has a bunch of gift card holders. And then the bottom shelf has different things for tax purposes, different receipts and things like that. That black bag down there is my camera bag that has my video camera and stuff in it. This is my homemade sound box for when I do my voiceovers. I put my mic inside of that. This little sheet right here is another photo backdrop. So if I do something that's large and 3D, I have something I can put behind it while I'm taking photos. So this is my desk. It does have the little leaf that comes up off of it. This little bin here just has post-it notes, um, a few washi tapes that I use to help seal envelopes when I'm mailing cards, and then some like lip balms and I drop some things in the bottom bin there. I keep paperwork for things that I'm currently working on right to the side of the computer. And then as I file things away, they come, I come over here and file them here. So this is just business stuff here. It's not um, like all my personal paperwork and stuff is in a different room. So I have business cards next to that. Um, some different supplies in the bins there and then paper and then different types of labels and things in here. I have my shipping spot here. So I have uh, return address labels, backs of cards labels, stamps, um, and tape over here. All my cards are filed according to category and then, or theme, and I can pull them out to use there. I have envelopes and different types of card packaging in here catalogs. These are pens that I use to do some brush lettering on envelopes when I'm addressing things. Priority mail envelopes, some cleaning supplies here, and then these are um, folders and things that are related to my mink machine. These little um, drawers units are just holding various accessories and little kind of small pieces and parts that I didn't want to lose in a larger bin. So things like I have a ton of these little magnets that I use when I do mini albums and things. Um, there's like binder rings, just different little things in there. This rotating bin I got from Harbor Freight. So I just use that to keep track of, again, little smaller things. I have different um, tapes in here that I use, some different adhesives and stuff, an old digital camera. This actually, my cell phone takes as good a pictures as this camera takes, but sometimes it's nice to have that to use instead of running the battery down on your uh, cell phone. So I have sparkle dust in here, washi tape, some liquid pearl stuff, um, some chalk inks versus marks, black inks, binder clips, um, alcohol inks and distress stains in here. These are super cool. I'm not sure if I can open it one-handed. These are pearlized paints. So they're super fun. They're watercolor paints. And then I have in the next bin um, tissues and some hand sanitizer that I use to make little get well gifts. This time of year is kind of the time of year for it. So my different mediums here, some extra ink pads, my wax warmer refill stuff, and then this is like fabric flowers that I've made, some doilies that my stepdaughter made for me, and a lint brush because I have four cats and two dogs. <laughs> so I'm constantly brushing stuff off. These drawers here, this whole set of top three, set, top set of three drawers is all photo props and things. And then going down into the drawers, there's things like my acetate, my vellum, my corrugated stock, 
in here and then my mirror papers. I do have several drawers that are empty heading down and some that have some random scrapbook paper in them. And then this um, bottom set of white drawers, they're a little bit more difficult to open, but they have um, my clear treat bags in there along with my chipboard pieces. So coming over here, I have my ink refills. These are, again, the acryl acrylic um, containers from Dollar Tree. And then the drawers that they're sitting on all have different blending sponges in them. And then I do keep my daubers in there as well. I also have this little ink tower. Um, my ink tower that I use for most of my inks does not hold all of them. So this is where my Good Life and Be Amazed inks are at, is on this little tower. I have some little pieces that I've altered over the years. Um, I keep some blingy stuff in. I have my cardstock down here. So I've mentioned before that I keep my cardstock. I use these heavyweight um, paper protector, page protector type things. Let me see if I can find one that you can see a little bit easier. So I keep two sheets of the full sheet of color in the sleeve. And then I put my scraps in there as well. So I'm guaranteed to have at least two full sheets if I need it. And I've forgotten to order that particular item. So that's how I kind of keep track of my cardstock with it. I do have these sorted by color family. However, I pulled what I consider my neutrals, my buttercream, oatmeal cookie, black licorice, and whipped cream. I've pulled them over here to the side because I do keep them stacked a little bit deeper than I do the rest of my stuff and I needed to be able to see them a little bit easier. So I have my stencils and things here as well as my gel press on that as well. So these bins down here, I have adhesive backup storage here. So my hot glue gun's in there, my ATG gun, um, my glues, white liner, foam squares, all of that's in there. This is my embossing bin. So I have some other heat tools in here. I have uh, coffee filters, backups of my embossing powder. And then I got these little spoons at the Dollar Tree and they're really helpful for spooning out embossing powder. This is my punch storage in there. I don't have a ton of punches, so I just throw them in there. This bin right here is just various plastic bags. Usually it's the ones that I get from when I am ordering and I'll have like inks and stuff come in them. I keep them because they're handy for packaging things. This is molds and plaster paris, different things to do some little like ceramic pieces if I'm doing mixed media. This one right here is kind of miscellaneous. Um, my husband says that because this is the craft room, I have to have all his hobby stuff in here too. So <laughs> it stays. I'm going to kind of stay down here while I do this, but my platinum machine sits on top of this dresser. This is the Porta Ink uh, ink holder. It does hold all four of the main color families, plus I have my lovely blue and my clear ink in here. Um, the silver and gold would also fit in here. I just don't have those yet. And what I have done is because these don't take up the full set of the slot, I do have um, Velcro. Let me see if I can get it off. I'm doing it this way. So I have little Velcro dots that I've put in there. And I can just Velcro in a dauber pad so I can have a separate dauber pad for every color. And it's right with the ink pad when I go to get it. So in this drawer here, I have different types of uh, cleaning things. That stamp platform's in there, which I hardly use anymore. My brayer is kept in here. I keep these poly disposable gloves. 
I'm allergic to latex, so I have a hard time finding um, reusable gloves that aren't latex. So I just keep the poly disposable ones. And then that way, if I'm doing something really, really messy, then I can actually um, just keep some gloves on. I do have my colorless ink blender and some like embossing buddy type stuff in there. Tess, I got it off of scrapbook.com. And I will link that as well in the blog post that I'll do tomorrow. So this is just embellishments in this second drawer. Third drawer is paper stuff. So I keep, I've shown this before, but I keep my paper in these little plastic pouches. I keep the cover sheet on the paper stack in there and I can keep all of my scraps and everything in there. And then on the back side, I have the reference of what cardstocks match it. So over here I have some color splash sheets. This is like random little pieces of wrapping paper that I use because I have actually used the wrapping paper on my cards. It's great to have a little black stripe for your cards. In here I have my grid mats, um, a laminator, my silhouette, my mink is underneath this stack here, and then my full roll of wrapping paper. Okay, now we're going to see if Sarah can do this one-handed. <laughs> okay, I am going to move over there. <laughs> I, it's going to be just a little bit, so hang on just a second. <laughs> I was talking to Becky earlier today, and I said, I hope I don't grunt and groan too much trying to get up and down to do this today. <laughs> okay. So over here, I have all my dies in here. These are all FSJ dies. And then I also keep my platforms and things for my platinum machine um, next to the dies. In this bin, I have all my dies that are not FSJ. And then this last bin here is all of my embossing folders. So all of my die cut stuff is kind of in the same area. The bins below have things that I keep for altered stuff. So this bin has a lot of different like wood pieces in it that I keep that I can cover with paper, I can paint, I can do whatever with. This bin has paper shreds on top, but it has a lot of paper supplies in there. So different types of paper bags, paper boxes, um, notebooks, things that are all just paper products that I can use for that. And then the third bin is plastic stuff. So there's tubes, there's a paint can, there's just different type of plastic things that I can do altered work with. Down here, this bin has a lot of mixed media stuff in it. So this is like my big um, mixed media things. So I keep my, my mineral spirits in here. I keep a giant thing of gesso that's in here. I keep little paper cups because they're awesome for mixing things. And then I have some different types of um, modeling paste, mediums, matte finishes, that kind of stuff. There are acrylic paints in here. These are acrylic and gouache paints, paint brushes, and some little palettes here. This bin has calligraphy stuff and fixative and some rub and buff finishes and stuff on it. And then over here in the corner, I have my tripod that I use sometimes for photography. I've used it to do video and stuff as well. And then a roll of transfer paper. So once again, I'm getting up off the floor, so I'm gonna put you on the one moment so I don't make you sick. Okay guys, we're almost done. This is what I refer to as the closet of shame on Instagram. It really kind of was shameful, <laughs> but I got it cleaned out finally. So 
just going to give you a peek in here. This has um, some storage up here of some different machines that I no longer use. Uh, some Christmas ornaments that I have to alter. Wreath forms and things. Um, batting, fabric, fur and fleece. There's patterns and things in that last bin and my fat quarters up on top. I have my sewing machine, some different things that I have in here that I was going to use for um, different house projects. This is, uh, sorry, the second shelf down. I have display stuff. So if I'm going to be doing some, building some displays and things, I have that there. This is all shipping stuff. So there is bubble wrap and air pockets and styrofoam peanuts and all sorts of stuff in that basket. The next shelf down is for yarn projects that are in process. And the bottom shelf is actually like cross stitch stuff. This big bag that's sitting here, that is actually the bag for my lights that are on my craft desk. And then these two smaller lights were the lights I originally had because they don't have the soft box feature. They're not quite as helpful. I have a tool bag down here because you got to have tools, especially when I move things around as much as I do. This little shoe organizer actually has all my ribbons and trims and things that aren't FSJ. I tend to reach for all my FSJ stuff right off the bat, but occasionally I need a color that I don't have or something. Up top here, I just have some various sto storage. My rotary tool and then the blades and different adapters for that. My craft knife set. These little stands are something that I've had for a few years. I actually intended to use them to make recipe card things for my stepdaughters. And you know, lo and behold, Sarah buried them somewhere on a shelf and I couldn't find them. So <laughs> they wound up there. I have, this is all of my Christmas tissue paper. And then I do have like a bag and a box that I thought might be good to keep for wrapping presents. I have extra tape for presents. This is my ribbon that I use for gift wrapping. It's like the wire trim or the curling ribbon in there. Yarn, yarn, and then three bins of fabric down there. Along with my wrapping paper. And I just keep that in just an old, well, it's not an old, it's a new, brand new waste basket, but it was a fairly inexpensive one that I kept in there. So, and then on the outside of the door, I just use these little hooks because this is a bifold door and it's got the gap at the top. I just use these little like plastic over the door hooks to hold my laptop bags. And then I also keep my tote bags and a sweater in here just in case it gets a little cold. Most of the time it's really hot. <laughs> and then the last thing I'm gonna show you here is actually this sign that I made. So I was watching a video some time ago of Jennifer McGuire's and she said this and it just struck me so much I had to rewind it so I could write it down. But I have done craft, um, crafting and I worked in a craft store and did all this stuff for a very long time. And one of the things that I always heard from people is I'm not creative. I don't know how to do this stuff. I'm not creative enough. I can't do this. And I think it's because they're thinking too much like it needs to be perfect. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's handmade, not Hallmark. I love that quote. So I keep that in my craft room so I can see it every time when I'm in here. So I'm just checking really quick to see if there are any more comments or questions in here. It's kind of hard to hold that and check everything and do everything. Looks like I caught the question. Becky, you're welcome to come play in my craft room anytime. <laughs> I think I got everything. So I hope that this helped you guys out, that maybe you got a couple little ideas, um, different things that you can do in your room. Like I said, most of this stuff, the furniture wise and everything came from Walmart or Target. It wasn't expensive. It, um, 
it's not all built-in stuff it's not like I pieced this together it's really super easy to do to get a craft room that works for you and it doesn't even have to be a room the size that mine is it could just be a closet it could be even just a spot where you have a desk you just have to work on the organization part of it so I hope you guys enjoyed have a great day much love to you all